He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. As a Soviet scientist, I've always considered myself an atheist. But right now, there's only one thing I can say. May God have mercy on our souls. We've locked the magnetic door to the cable car tunnel. I don't know how long we can keep the robots inside the complex. Hey, Ivan, is it me? Or did that bush just move? Ivan! Ivan! Dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, Elf.
Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I gonna do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP-generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. I, to my shame and chagrin, have seen humanity at its absolute worst. Something's wrong. Oh, shit! Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps, 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 forceps! I'm on it. Get me them! What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neuropolymer capsule. We don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. How did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! Larissa! <laughs> Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Shaft Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock-picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless. <laughs> it worked! <laughs>